Lakers get another win back to back. Boston and the Knicks on the road. They beat the hottest team in the league in New York. They held them scoreless for almost seven minutes in that fourth quarter. Check this out. Max, Torian Prince, LeBron, and Austin Reese played the entire fourth. Hayes was with that group, then AD came in. That was it. The way they blitzed and doubled Jalen Brunson. Uh, they started to rebound the basketball because mm -hmm. the Knicks, uh, one of the best offensive rebounding teams in the league, were, they were causing their damage there, James. But uh, another great team win. They win 33-19 to in that fourth. And here's a key big game that I know you always hit on. Only five turnovers in the game. Yeah, the total. And it got you to go back-to-back. Total and and I think in the last game against the Celtics they only had it was like under ten right eight, eight or something yeah. like that so they're taking care of the basketball and I love what Darvin Ham and the coaching staff are discovering right now I think they're discovering uh, combinations of guys that can play well together and they're sticking with it in the Boston game no LeBron no AD we saw what the others can do. And I think tonight it was a combination of blending that together. AD only had 12. He had, he had yeah. eight up until the end, uh, the fourth quarter, late in the fourth quarter. But to me, he was still the most valuable player on the floor. I think he had four or five blocks. Mm -hmm. He must have altered at least six or seven others where they they went in and they saw him and they went away. Uh, and I thought Reeves once again, the floor general. Uh, you know, I, I just really think this team is finally coming together. Prince did a really good job on Bronson early on, and then the decision to trap him changed the whole game. Changed the whole game. They went without scoring for about five and a half, six minutes almost. The defense was, was clamping them down, and they, like you said, they start rebounding and stop giving up extra possessions. So it was a nice team effort. BT, and, uh, down the stretch. I, I love what James brought up because I, I think it's really important on a night where you only roll with those guys in the fourth quarter, that could be a story, right? You've covered this team for a long time, right. but it's not. When you win the game and you roll with something, guys are going to be happy for each other, and that's what it's about. Each game can be different, right. and with the loss of Vando, uh, even the other night with no AD and LeBron, you have to play with what you have, and sometimes it might be a guy stepping up that you didn't know, like a Max Christie, getting the extra minutes. We've all been wanting him to play more. Well, he got the opportunity tonight. Uh, an impressive win. You alluded to something, James. Darvin Ham and his coaching staff. Mm -hmm. It's time that he gets some credit for what he's done the last two games. Mm -hmm. He's coaching in a way that reminds me of what he did during the playoffs. Mm -hmm. He had this team prepared. He had them ready to play. And it was always the next play mentality. Mm -hmm. When you go in, do your job. When you're on the bench, be prepared to come into the game. Torian Prince did not start tonight. But he had a good game off the bench. Didn't yeah. suck. Didn't put his head down. He played well for the Max Chris is a young kid trying to find his way, but he had a really good block shot late in the game on, yeah. on Brunson Big time. without fouling. That shows you that Darby is now starting to reach his players and they're starting to respond to his voice. New York's main option, Jalen Brunson, made yep. him get off course a little bit and then dared the other guys to make shots from the outside, which they could not do. And if they got inside, who was there? Anthony Davis. Yeah. Block yeah. shots to make you think two or three times before you took a shot to the basket. Yeah, and on a night where they got out-rebounded big game, James, by 13, the Lakers, and the New York Knicks had 18 offensive rebounds that led to 17 points. Those final few minutes where they had to tighten it up and they had to get the rebounds, the Lakers came up big. That's also winning basketball, right? You're not going to be perfect yeah. in every single category. There's going to be a night where maybe, you know, the balls are just, even you said it, the ball was just not, it was just going yeah. their way, right? Balls were leaking out, landing in guys' hands, loose balls, but yeah. the Lakers found a way to get that at the end, get that settled. They did. You know, uh, it, they were patient. Yeah. Uh, like you said, the, 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 the shots were going up. Sometimes the long rebound comes out. Sometimes you can't avoid, uh, you know, them getting an offensive rebound. But I thought they did an excellent job of forcing Hart to be the guy. You notice they came off of Hart and they forced him to shoot. And he got a little bit nervous, couldn't knock down a shot. And they denied Bronson the ball back. And like you said, when they went inside, AD, if he didn't block it, he altered at least four or five shots. So uh, I, I thought the defense down the stretch was perfect. They knew what they were doing, the adjustments that they made on the fly. You know, they couldn't stop it immediately, but as minutes passed, they checked it out, then they made an adjustment on the fly, and they locked them down. Like I said, there was like five, almost six minutes there. They couldn't yeah. score a bucket. So 
Hats off to the defense down the stretch. Yeah, I mean, Jalen Brunson ended with 36. He had 25 going into the fourth. The Lakers start that fourth quarter with a 9-0 run, kind of took control of that game. But you, you nailed it, big game, and Doris talked about it on the broadcast. She even said they're making Josh Hart handle mm -hmm. the basketball mm -hmm. a lot. For that stretch, the ball was in his hands. DiVincenzo yeah. was getting impatient Should have put well. a shooter in. He should, yeah. he, he should have put a shooter in the game or somebody. They were struggling. But they never made the adjustment, and uh, we, we, we took it to them in the fourth. Guys, I want to talk Austin Reeves because this is another great night. We spent a lot of the pregame show. He was the interview with Mike Trudell. He earned it. He had a career-high seven threes against Boston, uh, 32 points, which was a season high. He backed it up again. He stayed patient. Uh, 14 of his 22 BT were in the fourth quarter. He was great from the line, but he was that guy again down the stretch making a big play. You can feel some about, you know, New York. Jordan went in there. They loved going there. Kobe loved it. Dominique Wilkins, they love to go in there. Just they, they know the game. Mm -hmm. You go out in New York, every park, they know the game. It's yeah. like they know if you're and, and, and if you're in a, and if you are a visiting team, if you're performing well, they'll make you feel like you're the home team. They just love to, yeah. to watch you play. But I just thought the Lakers and Reeves in particular, you know, it's his team to handle the ball. He's the best at navigating. LeBron's a nice, you know. ISO guy, he can take you one-on-one. -on -one. But Reeves is the guy that can score. He can he can get that little bump. He get the potential three, and he also can find. He's smart. You see, like you said, I think you said it. He he waved everybody out, created a play. He sees things on the floor because he's a coach on the floor. I just yeah. love the way he's he's stepping up.